All right. Welcome back to Uncut and Unheard. Let me turn my volume down. Okay. All right. Welcome back to Uncut and Unheard. I believe this is episode 72. It could not be, though. I'm not sure. Currently, May 26th. Haven't recorded an episode in a while. Mainly because I have been making so many videos. I have been making a ton of content. Three videos a day right now. And it has been going super well. We are up to 20,200 or something. We literally hit 20,000 today. Which is insane. And uh, there's been just an overwhelming amount of support lately on the channel. It's been great, man. Everything's been going really well. So I decided, you know what? We gotta hop on. Do a little uncut and unheard. Since I haven't recorded one in a bit. I think we're on episode 27. That is currently live. But yeah, I've definitely been focusing on that content grind. And, um, you know, I figure we have a huge buffer. When it comes to uncut and unheard episodes. One thing that's going to really suck though. Is I believe the episodes that are being uploaded right now. Are right when I started getting super sick. So that's definitely going to suck. And I, I'm not looking forward to uploading all those. But it's part of the process. Part of the journey. But ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the series. I know some of you have been just loving it. At least as of the first 27 episodes. Which I had no idea it would be as as successful as it is. I had no idea. I thought they would probably average like 100 views. They're averaging 1,000. Which is just crazy. But yeah, we are on Woods. Probably going to play two Woods raids. Maybe even three. And we'll probably talk about that in this episode. So I don't think I've mentioned it yet. But we'll see what we do. Take this guy out first. Um, is anybody home? Yes. I fucking missed. Oh my god. Die duck in real life, you damn right. See you later. I don't know how I missed that. But I might start making these a little longer. I don't know how much longer. But long story short is... And I'm just going to be brutally honest. I get paid more. The longer it is. So, well, here here is how it works. The amount that the advertisers pay goes up the longer the video is. If that is combined with strong, like, viewer retention. So if you guys are watching most of the episode, advertisers are going to want to pay more because you guys are watching. And seeing their ads for people who, you know, don't have YouTube Premium. And a lot of you have asked me to make these episodes longer. Like, not just an hour. Do an hour and a half. Do two hours. I don't know if I could do two hours straight. But maybe an hour and a half. For sure. A lot of you want me to stream as well. And I really appreciate just, like, the overwhelming amount of of support just like you guys want more 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 for me and that is just the best feeling ever as a content creator but yeah we, we might make these a little bit longer because it incentivizes me it's a pmc oh, i might get shit on here fucking hide over boar got him yeah it, it it's you guys want longer videos and more content. Honestly, it's only a plus for me to actually do it. So, 
I've been thinking about it for sure. I was going to do a fence series. Just flipping shit from fence. However... Since I told everybody how to make a shit ton of money from fence, it has actually been impossible to make any money from fence. So I kind of fucked myself over on that one. It was supposed to be called Jumping the Fence. Now, if this flea market stays non-found and raid, we can still do it. But, um, yeah, it was supposed to be called Jumping the Fence. And I was pretty excited for it, actually, but... It's alright. The fence video I made did pretty well. I think I like 15,000 views or something. So I'll definitely take that. But if I didn't tell you the reason we are on Woods, we are looking for Sherman. Because I need him for a Jaeger task. And I've probably played... 10 woods raids so far and have not found him. So. It's kind of where we're at with that. I'm a little worried about he threw a nade. Thought he threw a nade, but I think he just had it in his hands. I don't think he got it off. We'll see if there's any more. It scared me so bad. That might be who I'm looking for. It's got to be, right? See if I can loot this guy and see if we can see. Let's reposition. Wow, this could be an absolutely perfect uh, start to. The episode.
Um, hmm. All right, I think it's good. Keep us light enough. Ooh, it's pretty foggy. Yo, Valde? Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a voodoo. Do I just want to throw that on? Uh, can I throw it on? Yeah, we'll keep that on for sure. Um, do I want to just toss my Valde or not? 24 hours? Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. How's the... Yeah, the one times is great. Yeah, this is... I think we'll just... I fraud the Valde. Wow, I usually don't find anything uh, too decent on Sniper Scav, but... God, that's a ton of ammo, too. I think we're just gonna leave it. Because I'm already too heavy. Sick. Yeah, we're not going to be able to see him, huh? Damn, that sucks. Yeah, there's not enough visibility that blue laser just scared the shit out of me some of you guys probably saw it on the fucking rock on the right Unfortunately, I don't know the best. Oh, another thing we have to do is mark both of the mark circles. <sighs> well, how much time? Oh, we can't even. We wouldn't even wait. Oh my God! We we probably almost just fell off the mountain. I thought I just saw movement right in here. Maybe not though. Imagine I accidentally rolled off the fucking mountain. Oh my goodness. That'd be a clip for sure. See, I'm only running Piranha. I'm not running Flechette. I don't know if I said this already. Um, and the main reason I'm not running Flechette is because I'm cheap. Even though I have 103 million. I'm not paying 5k a round. So even if we do get close enough to the sawmill to try and aggro, and they might not even be at the fucking sawmill, because I can see enough through this fog. I don't think Piranha would get through the guards. Sturman would be okay, but the guards, if they chow me first, I'd probably be fucked. I honestly think he's, like, over here. Like, by the sandbags right here. 
And if he is, I would get slaughtered trying to run in the main building. Damn. I don't want to lose the voodoo, but at the same time, I need to get this task done. So we'll probably just have to suck it up, Buttercup, and try and get in there. So we're probably dead, So I'm trying to say. why it's still um so fog is a weather effect now which i th did we record an uncut and unheard when this change came out i don't know i'm gonna have to go around the mountain just to play it safe but now fog is only a weather effect and it did say it was cloudy with fog but it was at least my understanding that fog would only be a part of the weather with rain but now Seems like it is its own weather effect as well, which is fine. But it seems like BSG is making sure that it's included and it's not like super uncommon. Don't get me wrong, I, I fuck with fog. It adds a level of uniqueness to the maps, but I also love sniping. So it really does suck having just crystal clear skies and then getting hit with a full day of rain. It was raining earlier today. And now the rain is gone, but now we have the fog. gonna make me too heavy is i think this is a shitty scope i just can't remember these are cheap suppressor is probably not needed shot it for quick sell am i still heavy no, i think we're good we did level up strength this episode in like the first three steps Alright, so I have to rotate wide enough. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on the time as well, because we have to make it... Probably... Ooh. We're probably going to have to go back to town. Like, we're going to have to take bridge, because... We already killed two PMCs, so that's probably going to trigger PMC spawns over at Scav House. And we're not going to want to fight through them. Oh, this is going to be rough right here. I hope they're in the sawmill too. Not like fucking taking off in the forest. Oh, this gives me anxiety. <laughs> this is what Tarkov's supposed to feel like. I was supposed to feel like a cakewalk. I don't even know there's a crate here. What the hell? Oh, we got two nades. We got an AK if we need it. Stam to make it there in one run. Fuck. I thought I saw something. 
eight minutes. That's baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shit. 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 You piece of shit. I need the barrel just to cool off a little. We might go MIA just trying to get the test done. Fucking Ruskies! You can't have any rounds left now, bitch! Usually aggro's, you know? You coward! I don't know if that's the guard either. Fuck, man. We're gonna go MIA. I am gonna kill each and every last one of you, motherfuckers. I don't want to rush it, though. But I kind of have to. God, dude, that SVD sounded like it was to the right. They're not moving. Can I bait? Other guy saw a bear in this area. I don't know what to do. It's not working. I can't bait him. Maybe if I shoot. Fuck, man. I only killed one guard. That's the problem. I don't see him. He's got to be right by the truck. He won't calm again either. Keep on coming. Yeah, this might be the other guard actually. Asshole. 
where that guy is. I don't know where he is, dude. Fuck you. Give up. You're pinned. I think it's chalked. No, there's it's impossible, right? Uh, bunker. I think it's I think it's impossible. I'll give it my best shot though. Got the task done. It's really all I care about. I should probably drop some shit just to be lighter, but... Could I take the BTR somewhere? I don't even think it'd be worth it. Um, if... ZV's open, we could... We could make it. scared me. We're gonna need no PMCs, though. And we're gonna need it to be there, obviously. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. Oh, you know what I should have did? Low-key. Instead of trying to make it the extract, because I don't think I'm gonna make it. I should have, um, I should have planted on the mark circle. That's what I should have did. Oh my god, it's gonna be really close. Please be here. Yeah, it didn't matter. They were they were camping it. I don't think it was there either. I didn't see any green smoke. But that that's why we wouldn't have went that way originally. Because they just sit there and <laughs> it's like impossible to kill them. Alright, well, successful. Definitely take that. Now I got to kill Sturman again with an M700. We did a lot of eye fraud in that, though. Got a Neotech out. Valde will come back. Well, everything will come back, but well, I guess, yeah, just everything. It wasn't any eye fraud because we didn't survive. Fuck am I saying? But this is what I want. I want the uh, 338. So, 75 meters really isn't that uh, in that far. Oh, that's that's nice. Panic. I'll take two biddies. Yeah. Yeah, we take that. I'll take the Reaper too, of course, but you know I'm fucking with the uh with the Bitcoin. Alright, we're up to a hundred and seven mil. Holy crap.
All right, so we'll just throw another shotgun on since we have it available to us. This should be the rest of this kit. Oh, this is my... Oh, so I think the last episode was 71. We were on Shoreline. I was doing Punisher. Yeah, turns out that they changed it to Lighthouse. I don't know when that happened, but... Yeah, it was changed to Lighthouse for the, for the shotgun kills. Which kind of pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. So we need to use the M700 again. So we probably just need... Oh, I'm going to have to build the M700. Alright, stand by for a little bit. We have a couple things we need to do... What weapons do I have? We run it. Want to run the M4? I don't see why not. Then we just need a rig. It's a little excessive. I guess we're using that. Yeah, it's probably going to be a little too much. I think I have a couple 60 rounders in here as well. Yeah, I do. So we'll keep... Mm. Okay. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good here, and we just need the M700, and we'll be alright. Go ahead and throw on some Batwolf. Shit, didn't want to do that. See if I can snag an M700 with a TAC-30 already on it. Much open. Oh, I can just, like, outright buy the M700 that I kind of like running. Which one? Hmm. I don't know which one it is, though. What are the difference? Rifle Pro, AICS... I don't really know. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of build the one. I'm going to have to start stocking up on USD, though. This shit's getting crazy. What's going on with the phone? Let's see. Here. Okay, we'll deal with that later. So I need me a TAC-30. So we're going to need... Um, I think you just put a regular Night Force mount on for the TAC-30, right? Yeah. Alright, cool.
Right on. We're gonna need another mag. Somewhere for sure. Oh, shit. Does it do that because, um... It's top loadable? I'm assuming... All right, we're going back. So it says it's raining now. So we'll see if we get any any action. It only has to be 75 meters, so... We'll have to see if M62 will one-tap Sturman or not. I don't, I don't know, dude. Boss health is kind of nutty. Let me see. My battle buddy real quick. Not sponsored. Not an ad. Oh, wow. Sturman's health is actually pretty low. When I think of bosses, I just think of, like, fucking Killa and shit. All right, one uh, M62 will one tap him in the head, so that is good. So hopefully we find a game relatively quickly. Um, they have kind of fixed the matching to where you don't find a server instantly anymore. And they have also... Well, the servers were down yesterday. So on Saturday, May 25th at night, probably from like 8 p.m. to... Probably 8 a.m. in the morning, the servers were like completely down. And then it took another, like, six hours for them to kind of recover and kind of stabilize. And now the servers are just kind of like, hey, you could find a game in a minute, or you could find a game in five minutes, but you just have to uh, keep, keep going at it, keep searching, hoping you find a game. Here we go. Oh, no. I just... I don't even trust this spawn anymore. Hey, it is not raining, though. Oh, but we do have fog. God damn, I stepped outside. The PC was like, no, no. Go back in. I don't want to render your graphics. Oh, I could give you guys an update on that. Actually, I might have been the last episode, though. Anyways. um, Hopefully, two months from now, we'll be able to grab the new rig. What the fuck? I'm... I'm being surrounded.
Interesting. Very interesting. Hope you guys are ready for the uh, the mag packing. Since we're running a full auto weapon again. You better be here for it. I might not have brought enough ammunition. I also wasn't expecting... You know... A shit ton of guys. The moment we spawn up. But here we are. Oh. We are like... Super close. Wow. That did not give me nearly the energy I thought it would. We are super close to... Hitting Elite Metabolism. That'll be our first Elite skill. Which is pretty exciting. Shit. Shit. C. Bananas. Guardian... Guardian O Street. Okay. Almost there. So I saw that some of you guys were impressed with my loot spawning abilities when it comes to the stash and the uh, PCs and what else was I manifesting loot into existence for? Uh, there's a couple other things. But I think we're going to have a hidden stash up here, and we're going to have a nice, juicy Iskra in it. I was wrong. Not today. We'll try again another. Maybe, maybe I was just not calibrated. Maybe we'll have one in the duffel bag that is not here. <laughs> anything so far. Damn, 54 frames go crazy. I feel like the scopes definitely are, like, super different. Because using the Voodoo, it feels so good. It feels so smooth. It's another... Oh, the Valde. The Valde feels pretty good as well, but... I don't know, attack 30 sometimes. I'll be getting that. Once we get this NASA PC, we don't have to worry about none of that. I'm going to have to figure out the dual, the dual PC setup and everything. Probably going to redo the entire... Entire setup. Two of them.
All right, right on. Let's see where we're at. Very close. Maybe like two more raids. Maybe we can find some vodka and a bottle of water or something. Get like an extra five skill points. Oh shit, wow. That was unexpected. Are these like 50k quick sell? Mmm, I don't actually remember. Man, not a lot of hydro. Usually not the case. Got a little bit here. I think a milk and an apple juice will probably be enough. We have peas as well.
Oh, we're at 51. We do have to drop some stuff. All right. Scope gone. Let's do that for now. I've hit R like four times. It just would not reload the mag for some reason. Hopefully I'm not like bugged. Make sure. All right, we're good. I get this one? Yeah. Am I carrying 50 without losing? Wow. That's huge. Oh, you know what? We will take that. Then we can, uh... Let me hit the treasure. Up on the cliff. For 53 minutes? Yeah, I might just throw another woods raid or something in here for you guys. Like, I don't see a reason why we can't make them slightly longer. Especially with the shortened raids for now. I mean, maybe... Maybe if the raids go back to like 40 minutes. I, I don't know if we'll be able to do three raids then, but... I mean, there's only fucking 15 minutes left in this raid. And I'm just now getting up to the sniper rock. I saw him. Did he see me? That's the question. Oh, no. Oh, you're an ass. So right now, with this area that I'm in currently, PMCs need to start spawning here in PvE. And I don't know when BSG is going to fix it. But the day, the day they do, I'll be pretty sad. Because almost every woods raid I think I've recorded, I do the same thing. I come up here, I kill the sniper scav. Then I kind of rotate through. Damn, I can carry 51.5. I had no idea that I could carry this much. But you need it for a lightkeeper task. And everybody is quest locked right now. Give him a haircut. Damn. Let's 
crazy. Oh, perfect throw. Perfect throw. Take the XP as well. Oh, don't tell me there's nothing here. Oh, no. There's nothing here. Oh, a chainlet. That's it. Well, that sucks. All right, are we good? I think so. Drop that. Well, never heard any shooting, so I don't even think he's here. So, we will hit the car, and we'll re -queue. Didn't get too much. Not terrible, but... Okay, so there's two of them. Oh, I got a good one for you guys. Somebody called me a cheater today. Said I'm cheating in PvE. Uh, didn't provide any explanation. Don't know if it's because I got hella money. Don't know if I did something crazy in an episode. But, um... Yeah, it was on one of the uncut and unheards. And I'm just like... All things considered, I'm ass. Like... <laughs> Like, I am not... Dude, that was... That's Tarkov timing in a nutshell. Did 
And I can't even kill the scab that's not moving. Motherfuckers think I'm cheating. <laughs> you know what it could have been? I didn't like... I don't know what episode it was on. Maybe it's because I said, give me a GPU, and I got a GPU. In what I was referring to earlier. Maybe it was that, to be honest. I don't know. Timmy's will be Timmy's. Watch your face. Probably not too good after that. While I'm getting some stamina back, I think I'm just gonna rummage through your things, my friend. You got like a few hundred thousand on you or something? No? If I'm already heavy. Might as well. Well, that's that raid. We'll do one more. Not great. There we go, baby. We just got the elite. I didn't know if that was going to be enough, but it was. Let's go. First elite skill. May 26th. Almost a month. That's how long that took. Who is this? Oh, was that? Wait. So this was that scab that was looking at me while I was up on the mountain and I was shooting with the M4. Well, it wasn't a scab. It was a PMC. I had no idea it was PMC. I wonder if them spawning right there will count for the, like, mountain kills. Because that is a new spawn. Because when I made my Woods PMC video, they were not spawning there yet. If that's the spawn for that Lightkeeper task, that would be phenomenal. That's great if they're right there. At least for how I play the map. There it is, baby. There it is. Hell yeah. So, increases their positive effects by 50%. So, when it increases the positive effects, like, if I use a Red Bull. What the fuck are they called? A Hot Rod? Oh my god. If I use a Hot Rod and that gives me one strength... Does that mean I get actually 1.5 levels of strength? So if I'm at level 24, but I'm at like 51 of 100, do I temporarily go up to level 26? Does it automatically round it up and give me two? I don't know, man. I never even, I, I never really looked into it. It was never that deep for me. Uh, do we have space to just dump? Yeah, we do. For your guys' sake.
All right, I think we're good. Do a little repair. We are good to go. Let's get a couple of drinks in us. Check the fence inventory and we'll be ready to go. Wow, nothing. God, man. I almost regret giving out the secret. I mean, you could make 100 million rubles in one day just doing it. It's still raining, though. Got that moonshin. God damn. Somebody dropped a $50 super thanks. Oh my god. You guys are insane, bro. Oh my god, somebody dropped a 49 in Czech Republic cash. I don't know the actual currency name. I know I just know it's Czech. Um 49 in Czech. That's like around two bucks, I think. Holy shit, you guys are just oh god man, I am so blessed. Genuinely so fucking blessed. I just can't wait. I cannot wait until we get the new PC, and I can give you guys just everything. Streets, um, and just being happier in general. You won't hear me bitching about performance. You won't hear me, well, complaining is probably the better word. Uh, it's just very noticeable for me as somebody who considers myself more of on the competitive side of gaming. You know, I'm a Call of Duty player, so that's just kind of how I am. But, um, you know, it's just like, I can't, I just can't wait. To give you guys the content you guys deserve, man. Like, it's as simple as that. You guys deserve the highest quality content from me. And I need to do everything in my power to um, continue to strive to not only make better content, but to do things on my end to make sure that happens. And, um, yeah, this PC is definitely, definitely going to make life a lot easier on all of us. God, that is insane. I got to put him at the top of the podium. Actually, I think he, yeah, he goes to number two. Two. Yeah, he was a number two on the podium. Holy hell. All right, let me get him on the podium while we are loading in. I will say one thing I really enjoy about this little podium thing I've been doing is on Twitch. And so many guys have asked me, did I say this in this episode already? This is the one thing I don't like about doing these super long recordings. I have a terrible memory, as you guys will know by now. Um... I literally just forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the podium. So that's so funny. Um, so literally like on Twitch, they have the monthly leaderboards and the lifetime leaderboards. 
there isn't any of that on YouTube. YouTube is definitely slacking when it comes to um, engagement to a creator from the audience um, because there should be some sort of interaction, not just the comments, not just the like button, not just, you know, the creator talking to you in the recordings. There should be some sort of interaction in some way for you to just see the fruits of your labor when it comes to supporting the creators you love, not just me, literally every creator, uh, whether that is how often you're watching the content or watch time, stuff like that. Like on Twitch, you can type in a command like exclamation point watch time and you can see how long you've been watching that creator. You don't have that on YouTube. That's something they need for sure. And um, me doing this little podium thing that I've been doing, I might reset this queue after five minutes as well. Uh, me doing this little podium thing, it's just in the channel bio, just gives a way for people to feel like they're being seen and, you know, it, I just feel like they deserve it. I feel like they deserve to be at the top of a leaderboard if they are supporting creators like this much, like $50, 50 US dollars, that's, that's insane level of support. Like that is not anything to laugh at when it comes to money you know some people that's just a drop in the bucket but some people that is a lot of money dude like 50 dollars can really help out a lot of people and it certainly will help out with such a, a high cost for this pc coming up and um i'm just so blessed i tell you guys this in a lot of the episodes but i am just in a very blessed position in life just a gamer who loves tarkov and I'm so I'm so thankful that Nikita and BSG finally just put their foot down and said, "All right, SPT's popular enough. Let's take the market share. Are we gonna be off ping for this one? Put me down. Put me down. Nice. Cause, dude, I would not be making Tarkov content right now if it was still PvP only. I just wouldn't. But instead." I have played Tarkov for... We... What are we at? This is almost 250 hours in a month, ladies and gentlemen. 250 hours. Now, I will say... I probably shouldn't say... When it comes to my actual IRL work... Like, what I do to support me and my family... Uh, your boy has been slacking. Um, and if you don't know, I work from home and I work for myself. And I was looking at some of my performance numbers and they are down. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's about 40% that they're down. But uh, sometimes you got to take a leap of faith in life. And if you see an opportunity, you just got to go for it. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. Oh, shit. Dead, right? Yeah, cool. Snipe up now? Is that him? No? I don't think he... Oh, oh shit, dude. Why did I just, like, not react right there? I missed. Alright. We're good, we're good, we're good. I just got, just got like fucking stage fright, dude. But yeah, your boy, uh, eh, you know. Been playing a lot of Tarkov. Haven't been a blast. I will say, I will say, mentally, oh, I feel great. With my, with my normal work. And combining that with the only game I was really playing and making anything, like, video wise for was cod try playing cod and working full time <laughs> Yo, that shit is not fun at all literally 
That shit is so ass with the SBMM and shit. So getting to play my favorite game of all time and take a bunch of time off work, I'm so blessed, man. I've just been so much happier. I even I even talked to my girl about it today. I was like, you know, if if it gets to this point where like maybe we get like a hundred K on the Tarkov channel and get a really like consistent viewer base, like me more of a brand and a personality rather than just the info guy and you know, we're kind of doing that now with the Uncut and Unheard series, to be completely honest with you. But, um, you know, if I get to be in a position here on YouTube where I'm more of, like, a brand and more of, like, a household name for Escape from Tarkov, I told her, I said, hey, you know, I might go full-time. Like, 100% full-time editor, everything. And she's like, I don't know about that. Will you, do you think you'll be able to, like... You know, support us in the far future. And I was like, I don't know. But it really doesn't matter what I do. She, uh, she's great. Supports me. All of my dreams, my goals, my ambitions. Lovely woman. Damn, 50? That's crazy. I'm sorry. I don't... I just, just amazing community, man. I probably pay tax on that, too. Actually, you might not pay tax on donos. But you know, it is YouTube, so you fucking might. Is that guy's username? I'm giving him a shout-out right now. He's gonna get another one on a video, but... Dace Mercer 3390. You're the fucking man, dude. It's the white flare. Dude. I need to run some more night raids for you guys. We definitely need to put some more uh some nods on and get some more night raids going. I just need to record the series more. So we can do more fun stuff. Instead of just uh grinding out the task and shit. Ha. Huh? Stop. <laughs> Moving his head too much. I had another guy comment today on an episode of Uncut and Unheard. He said, I know you feel like you have to fill the silence. And this isn't, like, I know this guy's probably going to watch this. And he's going to see it. And he's going to feel like I'm talking shit on him or something. It's really not. It's just talking about the situation. It's like, I know you have to fill in, you feel like you have to fill in the silence. But, like, it would still be okay if we just sat here in silence and just watched you. It's like... Ah, uh, not really. <laughs> not really. A lot of people put this on in the background just to listen to me rather than to actually um, watch it while they're loading up a raid or doing something like that. Like, they need something to watch. You know what I mean? They need something to watch, something to listen to. And uh, I don't think me just being silent is the play. That's just me personally. With what I like to watch and consume content wise. And another thing, it's like, if that is the case, if I, when I finally load into raid, while I'm watching like Stank Rat or somebody on Twitch, I mute the stream once I'm in raid because I don't want to hear two Tarkov audios. I don't want to get the footsteps confused. So it's like, people are probably muting the video anyway if they just want it in the background. So I just ignored it. 
because you know i'm not he's like the only person that's complained about it and you know it's the age-old saying of you could get a hundred positive comments and only one negative comment and you're gonna focus on the negative one it's not that i'm focused on it but it is the one that sticks in your head 100 percent just somebody is criticizing your work, which you're passionate about. And you're putting your time, effort, all that, blood, sweat, tears into. So, you know. Kind of like, eh. I don't agree with that. Personally. My favorite, though, is um, when people tell me how to make videos and they don't have any subscribers. That's That's actually my favorite. Actually, I'm bullshitting. My favorite is... Uh, you should cut out the dead space and the, the filler content in all your videos. And I'm just like, well... You see, the way YouTube works... If you want to put more than one ad on a video, you have to get to eight minutes. And I might have six minutes worth of content to give you. But we need an extra two minutes somewhere, and it's not just going to spawn itself. Now, I will say, I have shamelessly... Be I have put I put a black screen at the end of the video before. But that's only if there's like 10 seconds. And I'll always put on screen. Need to get to 8 minutes, sorry. What was that? That little burst. Wasn't it me? That was definitely at the sawmill, yeah? I mean, it's, it's too foggy to really try and make a play here. And I, I gotta stay 75 or more away. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you know what that probably is? That's probably the PMCs down by the dock. They roam over there. You know, I don't, I don't hear an SVD popping off, so. Now, let's see if we can rotate to this mark circle. Maybe take them out. I already have my shooter born done on woods. I should probably show you the progress on that. Woods is the only one I have fully completed. I can never find this fucking mark circle either. I think I have like three on ground zero, four on shoreline, four on lighthouse, none on customs. I haven't played customs in a while. circle that. When I tell you I can never find it, I mean it. I can never find this fucking thing. We gotta go in deeper, I think. Man, I feel like it should be really damn close, like right where I am. I'll find it. Maybe. 
Maybe not, actually. God damn it. Where's this fucking thing? You guys are just yelling at the fucking screen which way to go, and I'm just like... Sorry. Literally every wipe I've done this task, it has been me just walking through the woods until I stumble across it. There's no way it's this deep into the... It's definitely not. Like, I'm just missing it somehow. Actual fucking bot, dude. Alright, shall we look for the third time? have time to try to take a look at Sunken. If we have PMCs over by the pier, the dock, maybe they won't be at Sunken. Or they could be at Scav House, too. I mean, I don't know. Sam, so this shit's gonna be like an hour and 45 minutes. Well, you guys are getting blessed. This honestly wasn't too bad. This is by far the longest episode we've done so far. Obviously, we were testing it out. It wasn't too bad. Three raids. Staying in the full time, but... Son, my boy. Oh, it's now don't go getting dark on me. It's a thunder. Oh, there's a big bitch of a storm coming. Let me see. That's coming. It's gonna start it. That's going to start in about 20 minutes, so we should be good. By the time we wrap up the outro and everything, we should be good on that. I don't think my OBS settings are still set to where it's like a certain format in the file where if there's power loss, it, it corrupts the entire file. I think that is... I think I changed that, so now it just keeps whatever has been fully, like, decoded, encoded, whatever. Um... So I think we're good there, just in case it would storm and speed up or anything. It's our time. 11 minutes? Ooh. So the thing about Sunken Village is I have tried to actually come here about three times to do this task specifically. And each time, the PMCs are just dug in. And with the way the PMCs are working, how they just kind of... Once they lock on you, if you don't lose the aggro the moment you show a body part you're cooked and there is just no cover at sunken at all just none 
So it's really tough. It is really, really tough. Let me hop up on the rock over here, see if we can catch an angle on somebody. Is it this rock or the next rock? Yeah, but I never, I never liked sunken. I always avoid it if possible. Just not really for me. Oh man, if it was clear skies, oh baby. Well, it looks clear initially. First few houses. Oh, shit! What the fuck was that? Oh, see that fucking tree moving like that? Going in and out? This one right there? Oh, my God. It scared the shit out of me. Plus me falling. I thought, like, a fucking PMC was, like, running right to left or something. I thought I was getting worked. I thought it was over right there. Alright, I'll see if I can do something here. I'm gonna cut it a little tight, though. We're gonna need... Oh, we're pretty light. So that's good. We're gonna need probably a good four minutes to run back and extract. Maybe even a little more. Yeah, like this low ground strat right here. I haven't taken it from this from the riverside yet. I've always tried to take it from the tree line. I swear, I always heard him common shooting. Oh, or if there was scavs at Scav Bunker, they might have ran up there. Well, I don't hear any shooting or comms yet, so this is this is a great start. Oh yeah, this is. This is good so far. Oh. Dude, this shit might be clear. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta remember where the mark circle is. It's either right here or it's up here at the next one. I think, I think it's at the next house. I think it's one more. Holy shit, man. This is this is intense. This is intense Tarkov right now. You guys might not be feeling it, but I'm fucking... Oh my god, where is it? Did I fuck up? Yeah, I fucked up for sure. It's in like the front yard. One of these houses. Over here. That was, that was pretty far off, huh? Is it in, in here? No. Oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. Does anything even fucking spawn at these things? Like, I don't... I don't remember the last time I've gotten something from a... Oh, no. Dude, I don't see him at all. I think this is task completed. I did customs. I did shoreline. They don't do the reserve ones, I don't think. Alright, fuck yeah, dude. That's, uh, that's solid task progress in this episode. Take that. We will take that.
I think we should make it to vehicle with a decent amount of time. Rain is 16 minutes away. What is that on my monitor? What the fuck is that? I got it. I don't know what it was. That was unexpected. All right, good shit. Hour and 39 minutes. Yeah, thunder's going crazy. Surprised I can hear it. Alright. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Let's turn that task in. Man, I am I'm excited to get Kappa for the first time. Oh, the guide? I want to do the guide in one episode. And I think it's going to be intense because every time that I like die, we obviously have to start over. So we could just do back to back to back episodes of the guide. And the thing that's going to be cool is some of the raids, not all of the raids, but some of the raids, um, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be dicey. They're going to be different. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun doing the guide. I'm not looking forward to it, but, um, I will complete it eventually. I've only completed the guide once on PvP solo, and it might be the hardest task in the game because there are so many variables. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I think we leave it off. When do I get my next... When do I get my next set of tasks? 33 minutes, so a little bit of waiting to do on that. But that's going to do it for this episode. I believe it was 72, but not exactly sure. I got a ton of content I got to make here tonight, so I got to get on that. But yeah, I think we'll definitely make these a little bit longer. Hour and a half, maybe hour 40, hour 50, maybe even two hours. But I think two hours is kind of pushing it a little bit. We'll see, though. Do me a favor. Drop that like. Make sure you're subscribing. I'll see you in the next episode. I'm out.